Hey Frugal Fitness fans, Mike Schemer here, author of Frugal Diet with another unbiased nutritional supplement review. I obviously have uh, the famous NO Explode here by BSN, uh, which is a very well known uh, pre workout uh, nutritional supplement, pre workout mix. You take, um, you know, about 30 minutes before a workout. It's supposed to get you pumped up so you have the uh, best workout of your life and, you know, you. You get so much uh, vascularity and muscle pumps that uh, you know you just lift a thousand percent more, and then at the end of the workout you end up looking like Triple H or Ronnie Coleman or one of the other people that uh, they endorse. But uh, you know, in actuality, I think it's a solid product, a pretty good product. Um, it's definitely not a you know a miracle worker like they market it. It's not any. Um, it's not much better than a lot of other pre-workout products out there or a lot of much cheaper uh, substitutes. So I'll go over what I would use instead of NL Explode, save a lot of money and also to possibly avoid uh, some negative side effects. So from now on I'm going to be doing a mini disclaimer on any product that contains a lot of caffeine in it or uh, creatine. And guess what, NL Explode contains both. Um, it contains a lot of caffeine a lot of caffeine and other uh, related stimulants, uh, you know, taurine and uh, you know, just different, <laughs> different uh, complementary uh, stimulant ingredients. There's almost almost too many to name. You you read the uh, nutritional content on the back. It's like reading an encyclopedia um, on you know performance nutrition. So it's got a lot of ingredients. Um, so first off, you know, if you don't take caffeine supplements. Um, you know, and you're doing well on your workouts without them, then I would not recommend that you start taking caffeine uh, supplements that, you know, um, contain more than a small amount of caffeine. You know, the amount in a cup of tea or a cup of coffee is fine, but this has uh, significantly more plus the other stimulant ingredients. So if you do try this, start with maybe kind of a half a scoop and then progress up to a full scoop. Uh, before your workouts and see how that works. Um, so if you have any uh, shortness of breath or any um, you know chest tightness, you feel dizzy, you feel anxious, um, heart palpitations, obviously anything like that, then you want to discontinue using it. Um, I have this and I've had this probably for six months and I've only used about half of this container. Um, I don't use it very often, um, especially when I'm trying to get uh, more cut because while it does have the, uh, the fat burners and the B vitamins and uh, the caffeine content, it also does have the creatine content, which uh, you know is more for bulking up and for uh, power lifting than for trying to uh, get cut. So uh, this uh, this powder right here, it's about this, uh, 2.25 pounds, so about a little more than a kilogram, and you, know, you can get this for about uh, forty dollars or so. Um, you know, they sell it pretty much anywhere now. They sell it, not only did they sell it on, you know, at, at GNC and on Amazon and on any other website, but you can find it at sporting goods stores now. It's it's everywhere. You get 25% more free, like whoop de do. Um, so yeah, it's, it's not a bad value compared to some uh, other products out there that are comparable, but um, so it's a little cheaper than some of the other related um, uh, supplements. So, anyways, you take a look at some of the nutritional information, and you know you're gonna find that there's 50 calories per scoop. So, you know, right off the bat, you're gonna get you know a little bit of sugars. There, it's maltodextrin. It's not, which is technically a complex carbohydrate, but it's really just a sugar. It spikes your blood sugar, um, you know, and your insulin levels. But it's only, it's it's not that much. You know, it's. Uh, is it like 10, 12 grams or so. Um, it has a lot of B vitamin content in there, which are good for uh, producing energy and good for uh, helping to metabolize some of the amino acid content in here. There is, so there's caffeine, there's various forms of creatine, there's uh, creatine uh, complementary ingredients, you know, beta alanine, there's taurine, uh, you know, things of things of that nature that help the uptake or the effectiveness of creatine so you are able to 
improve your energy levels, get a couple extra repetitions out during your set. Um, you know, you take a look. There's a lot of uh, a lot of magnesium, which can be beneficial for um, uh, your natural testosterone levels, such as in that ZMA supplements, the zinc, magnesium, aspartate, um, and it also has uh, one of the most kind of um, popular and famous benefits of it, at least that they advertise, is that it has a lot of different uh, arginine, uh, vasodilating. Um, compounds which basically relax your blood vessels so you get more uh, blood flow to the muscles uh, so you have more supposedly you have more veins you know popping out during your workouts and uh, you know more blood flow to the muscles so it can help you know bring extra oxygen and uh, nutrients to the muscle remove the lactic acid and allow you to continue to lift uh, for more reps and lift for heavier reps um, so guess what all this is Somewhat true, somewhat effective, but you know I've I've used it dozens and dozens of times before workouts, and you know to me I don't think I find much more benefit from this than I do from a large cup of black coffee or a 30 cent packet of Energy Rush, um, Energy Rush uh, sugar-free caffeine uh, energy drink packet. Or, you know, you have a uh, half a scoop of protein powder, and guess what? Then you have a lot of those same amino acids naturally occurring in that whey protein. You have it post-workout. Uh, you can kind of make your own and it'll explode almost. If you have an energy rush packet, you have maybe a quarter or a half a scoop of whey protein powder, and then you put in, you know, uh, three to five grams of creatine monohydrate powder, then you have a uh, poor man's and it'll explode. And that's usually what I do instead. And you skip out on about 50, 60 different ingredients that can bother your stomach, that can um, possibly give you negative side effects. There are a lot of warnings on here. I've never had any uh, major negative side effects of this, but uh, with so many ingredients, you could easily have an adverse reaction um, you know, due to medication you have, or a medical condition you might have, or, you know, with something else you're taking, some other nutritional supplement. So, there are definitely, um, you know, possible times where this is not a good uh, nutritional supplement for you. So, does NO Explode work? Uh, yeah, it works. It's, does it uh, work miracles? Is it a fantastic product? You know, it's not perfect. You know, it does have, you know, has a lot of artificial sweeteners, um, you know, a lot of chemicals, a lot of ingredients, has a lot of caffeine, uh, creatine, uh, things that might be, um, you know, difficult for some some people uh, and their bodies to handle. You know, if you have um, less than fully functioning kidneys, then you're not going to want to take this product. If you're sensitive to caffeine, you don't want to take this product. You're sensitive to artificial sweeteners or some of these other um, ingredients that it has in trace amounts, then you don't want to take the product. Um, you know, does it create um, ridiculous muscle pumps and get you pumped up and help you improve your workouts? Uh, somewhat, sometimes. You know, I mean, I I wouldn't say ridiculous uh, muscle pumps. I've I've gotten better muscle pumps during my workouts um, just from a cup of coffee or half a scoop of whey protein or you know um, or nothing at all so I mean some it's not going to guarantee that you have you know, the best workouts of your life and um, you know it's not it's not a cheap supplement it's um, you know it's a decent price for what it has you know and it has a lot of different um, substances in here and a lot of different performance enhancing supplements um, in each in the powder and there are a lot of other uh, products out there there's super pump um, you know 2500 or whatever it's called it doesn't matter uh, super pump uh, there's a uh, nano vapor and they're you know very similar products they're not going to be um, much better some people might say they are or they but the ingredients are about the same when you look at them you compare them so you know it's about price and then it's about you know, can you get similar benefits and results from cheaper products like, uh, you know, like coffee, like uh, cheap creatine powder, um, you know, whey protein, uh, branched chain amino acids. Uh, you can take 
you can get um, different arginine supplements, um, you know, that may help give you uh, that vasodilation, that um, relaxed blood vessels and the muscle pump that you're looking for. Um, you might be able to get that cheaper. So overall, I give it a solid rating because I'm comparing it to the other products out there of its type. Um, you know, is it something that I take all the time and that I've had incredible experiences with? Um, no, I've had I've had you know average or decent experiences with them. Um, I've bought a few of them over a period of several years. Um, you know, a lot of people have taken it. Some people like it, some people don't. So I give it a pretty good rating, but you know, it's not a uh, it's not up there in my top supplement section. So pretty good. Uh, try it out for yourself. If you don't have any of the uh, uh, medical conditions that I mentioned, um, or any of the other possible interactions that I mentioned. Um, so try it out. It's at least worth a try for you if you're trying to step your workouts up a notch, increase your uh, increase your motivation a little bit, and really get in there and uh, give it your best bet.